Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is um, create Word Art and Microsoft Word. So you've got to get into Microsoft Word, which the same as before. Um, you're going to, you know, let me close that. Click on Word, then you're going to go to a new document, which you'll have it. I mean, it's going to look like this when you get into Word, okay? Then you're going to go to Blank Document, and you're ready to do your cover page. Now, you use a cover page for things like on a report when you want to make it decorative on the front so that maybe somebody will actually read what you have attached to it. That's the point in doing a cover page. You don't just do them to randomly, you know, do them. Um, to, to get to Word Art, which is the first thing I'm going to show you how to do, is you will go to Insert, and then over here you will have Word Art that you will click. So you click on Word Art, then um, once you do that, you have different styles to choose from. Now this is using Office 2013, okay? It looks different in older versions. Um, so you're just basically picking a style because you can change the colors, you can change how it shadows, you can change all kinds of stuff, and I'm gonna show you just a second. Um, so just pick whichever style it is you like the best. Then you just type in what you want um, it to say, which, which will be your name. And you will then uh, have the ability up here under Format, while you're still clicked on the word art, you can go and change the colors instead of it being a black. Well, hang on. Why didn't it do it? Because it wants to make me look bad. That's fill, right? So my fill should be changing colors right now. Not sure. Okay, there we go. Purple. I don't know why it didn't take that red. Still. Yeah, it's just the projector. But um, you can change the outline. And you can see it's changing as I, as I pick different ones. You can do all kinds of uh, special effects with it. Notice I'm saying the word, you can. You don't have to, but there's tons of things you can do with uh, word art. And this, this one, I'll be honest with you, I can't really tell it's doing all that much. But when you get down in here into 3D or whatever, you can see that changed it tremendously. So there's all kinds of things that you can do to um, your text. Like some of my favorite ones is the one that looks like a wave. Ah, I wasn't on it. Hang on. Get on it. If you're not on it, nothing happens. Okay, there we go. So that one. And you can see instead of having my name straight across, it kind of did a little dip. There's a bunch of different things you can do to word art. You don't have to, but you can. Um, if you want to change the way it's written, it's just a matter of going to the home tab and picking some other font. Like you can see it looks way different in that font than it did in the other. So you just pick whatever. If you want the font to be bigger, you can just stretch it and make it bigger. That's one way. Or you can adjust it up here, too. One thing they've added in this um, version of, of Word is it shows you where center is. You can see I'm centered now. Do you see the green line going down the middle of the screen? So now I don't have to guess, is my name in the middle? If I want it specifically in the middle of the whole page, I go until I get a crosshairs, right? I saw it there. You see, I have one going across and I have one going up and down. Now I know that my name is in the very center, top to bottom, side to side of the page. I don't care if you do that or not, but it's kind of cool that you can. Um, you also will use uh, Word Art to type the title of this assignment, which happens to be, these are your notes on word processing. Now I put a lot of work into this Word Art. Say I want notes to match it exactly, and it doesn't have to, but it'll save you a lot of work if you do. I'm just gonna copy this one and I'm going to paste it. Now you're going, you have your name twice. Well, that's an easy fix. Now, instead of it being my name, I have the title of the assignment, which is notes. And because I'm OCD, I'm going to center it. There we go. I'm not centering it top to bottom because that would put it right on top of my name. But it is centered side to side, and then I have my name. And so that's how you do Word Art. <coughs> Questions on, on putting Word Art in or any of that? Okay. 